Welcome to the forge. I want to talk about lanterns today. Uh, when the grid goes out and you've run out of batteries and it's dark, <laughs> sometimes you may have an alternative like candles or uh, these lanterns, which a lot of people don't use anymore because they seem antiquated. But I'm going to set you down right here and talk about it because you may not know how to use these. So uh, you can get these lanterns at Walmart on the camping aisle for about seven and a half dollars. Uh, if you want a nice, authentic, American-made one, or uh, the original company is uh, Dietz. Uh, that's uh, the most popular or well-known company for making these lanterns uh, since the 1800s. You can could, you could still get those and spend 50 or 60 or more dollars, but these ones at Walmart are really okay. I've got several around the shop. I've got five, actually. Um, and they're, they're cheap to run. They're not the best light. They're not real bright, but they run for many, many hours on, on a tank of fuel and the fuel is cheap. So, uh, here's how they work because a lot of you haven't, haven't used them. So I just bought this one. The first thing is, hey, the instructions are inside. How, how do I get these out? This uh, chimney is spring-loaded, so lift that up, and the glass tilts back. And back is away from the filler, so you can get your get your instructions out. Uh, some of these used to come with a funnel and an extra wick. This looks to be a, a little different manufacturer now that Walmart is selling, so... You don't get your your free funnel and, and wick anymore but uh there's a bunch of words so I'll put those away anyway the the funnels that came with some of my old ones are just a little plastic funnel so put your lift the chimney back up set the uh set the glass back into place make sure it's centered and of course carefully unscrew this all steel thread there is a little black gasket in the bottom don't lose that. Sometimes when you stick the funnel in, um, that gasket will get stuck on the end of the funnel and come out and then you lose it. So always watch that gasket that goes on the on the filler cap. And also don't overfill these. There's a line that's pretty clearly marked. I'm obviously, I'm going to tear the sticker off because it's ugly, but always know that yeah, there, there's a maximum level to fill up to because there's two chambers in here. These arms are hollow, and air actually flows down these arms and into the bottom of the burner assembly to aid combustion. Some smart guy in the 19th century figured that out. So, um, if you fill it up too much, I guess it'll maybe get in that air passage. I don't know, but don't overfill. So, what are you using these? Uh, lamp oil. Uh, you can get this any kind of store like well walmart on the candle aisle candle and incense aisle you'll find this one and they may have this at like home depot uh to now you can use citronella torch fuel uh tiki torch fuel if you want citronella and maybe the added effect of keeping mosquitoes away use that it's cheap i mean a bottle like this is like nine bucks and then there's uh there's k1 kerosene the label came off of this one but uh Home Depot, Walmart, probably Tractor Supply. K1 Kerosene is probably the least expensive because you're buying it at least by the gallon. And they've got uh, like a five-gallon uh, metal pails of it too. But I'm not going to light this one because this one's brand new. And it takes a couple minutes for the wick to start soaking up the, um, soaking up the fuel. But I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of fuel in this one. Go slow. And, you, and you're just going to occasionally have to take the, take the funnel out. Check that gasket. Don't use a match to check your level. But it's, this is a lot easier out in the sunlight. But fill it up. Uh, again, this one is brand new, so I need to let that wick um, soak in for a while. 
And then once those are soaked in, I'm going to use this one as a demonstration how, how you light them. So, whoops, my glass got crooked there. And that's hot. I don't know how I did that. Yeah, I'm sure these have burned down many a barn, although they really are relatively safe. Okay, so to light these things, So on the on the cap side, there's a little lever here. You pull down on that lever, and that raises the glass. And it'll hook in right there and keep it up. So get you some fire, put it right on the wick, and pull that lever to the left and let it go up. Okay, so I've got a problem with this. Uh, glass is sticking so I need to I probably need to clean that lamp a little bit but anyway so you let the glass down uh, this little knob will adjust the height of the wick if you go left very slowly it'll go down right goes up if your flames too big you get soot on the glass like this it's tempting to have a brighter flame so you can see more but there's just a limit on these things how far you can go without sooting up the glass and then when it's time to put it out, just raise it up a little bit. Yep, it's a little sticky, so I need to clean that one. Uh, but that's about it for for lanterns. I mean, they'll they'll run all, all night on on uh, you know that much fuel. Uh, and one other thing I found just recently, just got some off of Amazon. There's these liquid paraffin candles. This is a disposable plastic container. This is supposed to last 115 hours. It makes a pretty small flame, and I'll, I'll show you. Um, but this is something you can keep in the house. I don't think these smell at all. But lanterns, they they can smell, especially if you've got the flame too high and you're making soot. But um, these, these paraffin candles keep a very small flame, but you can just set this out on the table in the house and it just gives you a light to walk around with so you're not tripping over things when the power's out and you're all out of batteries and other solutions. So, put that out, recap it, make sure it's cool, and I mean, these, these are not too expensive. I just bought a six pack of these on Amazon for like 40 bucks. So that, that's a lot of hours of light. Anyway, that's it for now. Don't, don't want to make it a long video, but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. Talk to you later.